Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Justin with Stone Age Ball Pythons. Um, I just wanted to make this video. I haven't made a video in a while. I have some uh, clutch cutting videos that uh, need to be edited and posted, but uh, I'm just going to throw this video up here real quick because I have a project and some stuff is hatched out and I just want to show you guys everything. Uh, I'll insert a picture of the dad because I actually sold the dad and he ended up being granite. But I want to show you this female real quick. This I bought as a normal, uh, probably about a year ago, and uh, a lot of people told me that she could possibly be uh, het red exanthic, and so I emailed Corey Woods, I asked him, I'm like, hey man, uh, do you think this is a het red exanthic? He said, unfortunately he said no, but what he said was that it, it looks like there's something genetic going on with it, and I should prove it out. So I just want to show you how uh, her alien heads melt together like... Uh, a black path or a, a het red would do. I actually do have a het red. Let me show you the het red real quick. This is an actual 100% het red. See how her alien heads are going together, but she doesn't have those big dots on her back. She's a black bag. She doesn't have the big dots like the other one up there. Alright, so let's take another look at her. I call her my dinker het red exanthic. Um, as you kind of look at her, she's got those big fat stripes on her back. Not as, not as stripey, but now we're going to go to a regular black pastel spider that I produced. You can see very normal black pastel spider. Really beautiful, this one of my holdbacks. Now I'm going to show you what came out from the pairing to her. Right, this one's eating, or about, about to eat. But just the difference is just unreal between a black bee and a regular black bee and then what I got here. It's got to be something genetic going on, granite taking over. Uh, I talked to a buddy, Jerry. He thinks it could be like a redu genetic uh, banded, reduced pattern type thing. Uh, if I can see on her real quick. She had a, one of them had a banding. Yeah, just look at her. She's totally insane, right? Way different. Really blushed out head. I'll show you the sibling to this one. Looks exactly the same. This one just ate, so I'm not going to pick it up. The difference in these are unreal. I'll show you a uh, spider real quick. Alright, look how reduced this pattern is. And a normal spider has uh, a clear belly. If you look at some of these, they got track marks, and they're more of like a, an orange. i find that. I'll show you another one that's similar. Alright, you see the belly, how busy that belly is? So obviously, there's something else. So I can show you a regular spider and they got nothing going on and these are really reduced. I just kind of want to get people's thoughts on what they think that could be going on if it's a genetic thing. I'll show you two more time. So it's a black pastel spider, granite something. Both of these, this one and this one right here. Kind of want to get people's thoughts on it. I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and sneak peek my orange dream. He spilled his water, but he's getting brighter as he gets bigger, which is crazy. I know a lot of them dole out, but he's awesome. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in.